What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So I did this with the whole team, but I didn't really do it right. That I made a mistake when I did the whole kind of like video on Steph Curry and the Warriors without 3 point shooting. But today, I'm just taking away Steph Curry's 3 point shooting. He's the only guy that I'm messing with. I made all of his stats 25 overall, and then I took away, made all of his tendency to shoot 3, 0. So he shouldn't take a 3 all season. I'm going to be simulating 3 seasons like this, and we're going to see if Golden State would still be a great team without the 3 point shot. Okay, so let's start simming this first season, and like, I'm actually really looking forward to see, because a lot of like, Steph Curry's obviously, they got Durant now. So if I did this last year, I think the results would be a lot worse for Golden State. They'd lose a lot more years, but now they have Durant. Certain people say that if they had to lose one member of the big three on that team, such as I believe Skip Bayless said this, that they would get rid of Steph Curry before they get rid of Klay Thompson. I kind of understand in the, what he's talking about and how good of a defender Klay Thompson is. He can also shoot threes. But I think if you lose Steph Curry, you're going to lose a lot. Like, look at this. Just without his three-point shooting, they are 17 and 15, where on most simulations that you do with this team, you're going to see them being like, like they're 500 right now. If they don't make the playoffs, that is going to be even more shocking than I expected. I, I expected some pretty interesting results, but if they don't even make the playoffs, I think that just proves how important that three-point three shot from Steph is to that team. They're 25, they're getting on a little bit of a win streak right now. Okay, good. They're, they're starting to win games again. They lose to the Clippers, 105-106. The Clippers are my least favorite team in the NBA. I don't hate them. I don't hate any team, but I just if I had to choose to like cheer for any team, it probably Clippers would be the team that I would least want to cheer for. Oh man, I forgot to stop simulating. Okay, so let's go look at the stats. Player stats. Okay, Steph is still scoring 19 points per game. Which is pretty good. Three points made, 0 0.1 point, three points made per game. So he's not making those threes anymore, which is affecting the whole team's record. How are his assists? Four and a half assists, not great. Like the team in general, Durant's leading that team, but we're gonna see they're 31 and 25. Let's see if they they should make the playoffs. They're but they're seventh in the conference right now. But they are winning their division. Their division is not doing very well. They're up to six now. And like I said earlier. We're going to do this three times, but the other two times, I'm not going to be talking through. I'm just going to sim them super, super fast, and we'll be, just be able to see the end result by looking at the playoffs and stuff, just so we can kind of get that idea at the end of how they really do. I find that's a better way to do this um, than just going straight up and just simming like, well, simming and talking through each one of them, because I'm sure you guys get sick of listening to me talk. Like, I'm not, I'm not too proud to say that. I'm sure you get bored of listening to me talk. Like, you can only hear this voice so much in your life okay 45 and 37 second ben simmons okay so lebron wins mvp tyron Lou wins coach of the year let's go see any of these guys win no nba first team no second team none of these guys won anything wow okay well let's go see they're the eight they're the last seed and they gotta play against the rockets we're going to see if they can pull it off. I'm just going to simulate current round, see if they win or not. Oh my gosh. Are they going to get swept? The Golden State Warriors have been eliminated. So you take away something as simple as one guy's three-point shot, and they go from pretty much winning every time to losing their The Cavaliers win. Okay, let's go into the second sim. Take me away from home. Show me all the places I've never known I will chase the night Race all of these broken dreams and flight Okay, so year two went a lot better. We are the number two seed here. Let's go and simulate the first round. See, and we, we're going to beat Minnesota. So things are looking up. I was going to say, there's no way every single round can be as bad. Or every single season can be as, be as bad as that first one we had. Okay, we beat the Rockets. We're going to go 2-0, 3-0, and we just swept the Rockets. Who are we going to play? Denver here? I, I got a feeling we're going to win this round. Simulate current round. We do. And we're going to be playing Cleveland. The Golden State, wow. They just won it without Steph's three-point shooting. Now, just, just take, a, take a second to think about that. 
They just won the whole thing. And Steph Curry did not hit any threes. So they went from division, so this doesn't really give me a good idea. It's gonna, a lot of it's gonna depend on this third simulation. Take me away from home. Show me all the places I've never known. I will chase the night. Race all of these broken dreams and flight. Okay, so season three is even better. They're going with a 57 and 25 record. Oh my, are they gonna lose to Portland? No, they beat Portland. Okay, we're playing OKC in round two. Are they, they win that too. And you can see my cat. I don't know if you can actually. I mean, it might be out of frame. My cat is just messing around back there. Okay, they beat San Are they gonna win it two years in a row? If so, the Golden State Warriors have won the championship without Steph Curry's three point shooting. So we can make the claim. Golden State would just be just as good if Steph couldn't hit threes. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was one of the most interesting videos I've done because I was genuinely really curious about this whole thing. Uh, yeah, once again, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.